Hey, it's Cindy. I'm going to do my New York beauty haul and show you all the beauty items I bought while I was on my trip. I'm going to start with some drugstore stuff. I always go to uh, American drugstores when I'm in the States because they usually have a lot more items. They also um, usually have like, really good sales and prices are a lot cheaper. So it's really fun to kind of see what they've got compared to what we have here in Canada. So I've uh, got three nail polishes. The first is by Sally Hansen, Complete Salon Manicure. And I really love this line of polishes. They're very good quality. They um, are basically like a one coat system. So it includes your top base coat and your color. Um, this color is called Plum Luck and it's a deep um, purple. I really like these shades right now going into fall. So um, I got that one. Then I picked up this blue glittery one, which is from the Twilight collection. It's got like the Twilight crest on it. Um, the color is called, I don't think that's the right color, Talon. Um, to be honest, I kind of had one of these colors from Rimmel, very similar to this, but um, I kind of got suckered in by the Twilight stuff, so I bought it anyway. And then lastly, I picked up this red. It's by the brand Prevail, which had a whole collection of like New York inspired colors. So this one's called Little Italy, but they had like colors for every neighborhood in New York. And this is a gorgeous like deep blood burgundy kind of red. Really nice. So those are the stuff I got at Dwayne Reed. Then I went to Sephora and I just picked up um, two things at Sephora. I got a new YSL Radiant Touch Highlight Pen. And I always get number two, that was what was suggested to me, but it's the second lightest color. And it just looks like this, and when you, i put some in my hand, it just looks like that. And you put it on your under eye area, inner corner, you can use it as a highlight. Um, I put it anywhere where I have any darkness on my face, and it sort of just um, makes the light dance off your face and really make you look flawless. It's a great uh, product, it is expensive, I think it's around $40, $45. Uh, but it really works and you don't need a lot like this will last me a whole year which maybe isn't a good thing when it comes to makeup but is definitely good when it comes to my pocketbook and the other thing that I got at Sephora were some bare naked wipes now the bag kind of um, exploded so that's why it's in a Sephora bag but that's what they look like. They're by Josie Marin and they are completely um, biodegradable. They are environmentally friendly wipes. Um, they don't use any parabens or fragrances. They don't test on animals. And they're just makeup wipes. I like to use these um, not every day. I don't use them as like a cleanser. I use them if I want to change my makeup throughout the day. Or if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I'll use it as like a pre-cleanse. I really think it's important when using wipes that they are biodegradable and environmentally friendly like because it's a lot of waste um, to be using like a product that you throw away every day. So yeah, I really like those Josie Marin wipes. And normally they don't explode. This bag just did for some reason, so. Okay, and then I went to Origins, and that's where I spent the majority of my money when I really love the idea of Origins. Basically, um, this is their little skincare guide. But they try and create skincare that is um, as renewable, environmentally friendly, and um, chemical free as possible. They use a lot of um, organic and natural products, pretty much all organic and natural products. Um, they don't use parabens, they don't test on animals. Um, they don't use any oil, mineral oil, chemicals, petroleum, any of that kind of stuff. It's really um, good products for your skin, and I just think that that's a great way to go when it comes when it comes to skincare. They have tons of different lines formulated for what your, whatever your skin type may be, but I purchased um, mostly from two lines. The first is the Brighter by Nature which is all about brightening your skin. If you have any like pigmentation marks, if you have freckles, I always have pigmentation marks from old blemishes that I try to get rid of. So this is the serum. You use this twice a day after your um, cleansing. And um, you just need like a pump or two for your face, depending on what you're trying to lighten. And it's supposed to lighten your skin. Now it's 
technically supposed to take eight weeks, so I haven't seen any big results, but I have noticed that overall my skin is brighter and nicer looking, um, but the actual pigment marks I'm trying to erase, those haven't um, gone anywhere quite yet. But I'm going to stick it out for the full eight weeks and see how it goes. I do like the product very much. Um, and then I also bought from A Perfect World, which is their kind of um, age prevention line. It's not so much for people who already have aging problems. Not It's not for people who already have wrinkles, already have age spots, mature skin. It's not for that. It's for people who are kind of in their 20s and it's starting to be a concern for them that they want to prevent aging. Um, that's the focus of this line. There are lines that deal with mature skin. This is the line that's more for my age group, and I really, really like um, this eye cream. It's with white tea, it's very moisturizing, it's not greasy, and its main focus is just um, putting vitamins in the area, putting you know nutrients in the area, and preventing aging. I don't have a huge problem with dark circles and puffiness. I find um, when I do have that, the best thing for that is um, like a roller stick for eyes. I find those depuff really, really well. Um, I use one by Garnier, that's excellent. But I don't really have that problem every day. I get a lot of sleep, so um, I'm lucky in that sense. So this is more of what I need for an eye cream. And, and then the most amazing thing I bought is the Modern Friction Dermabrasion. This is incredible. You can use this on dry skin if you want a stronger exfoliation, or you can use it on wet skin if you want a more gentle exfoliation. And uh, the woman at Origins said only to use this once a week, really. Um, because I'm also using the peel pads from the Brighter by Nature um, line, I use this once a week, and then I use those peel pads twice a week. So I'm exfoliating like every other day, but I'm kind of you know, trying to really get rid of these pigment marks. But anyway, um, this is amazing. It makes your skin so soft and it has strong granules in it. Like the granules are round, so they're not going to scratch at your skin, but they're substantial enough that they actually do something to your skin, which I find a lot of exfoliating face products um, don't really do anything. So this is a great, great, great product. Highly recommend that. And that's their number one, like, selling this full eater. And then lastly, I picked up um, the Skin Brightening Face Cleanser. It's called Never Down Moment. I picked this cleanser. It was between this and Checks and Balances, which is sort of their cleanser for combination skin. Um, but I picked this one because it uh, smells really nice. It smells like papayas and mangoes. And it rinses off for me really well. It's not... Um, a heavy cream cleanser. It's more of like a gel and it frosts up really nicely and it, and it takes off all my makeup and it um, rinses away really well. So I, I really like that a lot. So that's everything that I got in New York beauty wise. Um, I did pick up two nail polishes on Wednesday so I thought I'd show them to you. They're both by Essie. The first one is called Merino Cool. It is a great purpley gray, very similar, um, I guess, dupe-wise to Metro Chic by Sephora for OPI. Now, I was not an Essie person. Their brushes are pretty tiny, and I found that their consistency of their polishes wasn't very good. It was a bit streaky. But a friend of mine, Jessie, she gave me a, a mini bottle of this because she loved it so much that she bought the larger bottle. And I just found the application wonderful. I don't know if maybe the colors I was using before are just naturally streaky or that they change the formulation in general, but these go on beautifully and I love them. And the other polish I got um, is called So Psyched and it's a khaki army green. I love this color. So great and uh, yeah, favorite, favorite for fall. So yeah, for fall I'm definitely loving like these kind of muted, um, dirty colors, these kind of dark, gorgeous, rich tones, and then the new um, OPI Glimmer polishes. I'm loving these. Um, this is the one from Burlesque called the Show Must Go On, I think. I love this color. So yeah, that's what I've gotten recently for beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.